नमस्कार मित्रों टुडे वी आर चेकिंग आउट द पायरोन मैन फाइव मैक्स अ प्रीमियम केस डिजाइन स्पेशली फॉर द रेसबेरी पाई फाइव यू माइट रिमेंबर वी हैव ऑलरेडी रिव्यूड द पायरोन मैन फाइव एंड दिस वन इज एन अपडेटेड वर्जन मेनली डिस्टिंगश्ड बाय इट्स ड्यूअल एन वी एम ई एम डॉट टू एस एस टी स्लोट्स बट दैट्स जस्ट वन ऑफ मैनी अनाउंसमेंट सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड एंड एनबॉक्स द पायरोन मैन फाइव मैक्स Here are all the parts we get inside the box. You will find the tower cooler, a USB to HDMI adapter, the dual NVMe slot expansion board, and a pair of RGB fans. Before we jump into assembly, let's quickly look at the Raspberry Pi 5. Although many of you are already familiar, here's a quick recap. Powered by an quad-core 64-bit ARM Cortex A76 CPU at 2.4 GHz, comes with a 4 GB LPDDR4X RAM and supports up to 16 GB. Dual 4K HDMI output, PCIe support, and USB 3.0 ports. And yes, it's powerful enough for desktop use, media centers, or even AI applications. Now let's go ahead and assemble everything step by step. As mentioned earlier, the Pyron Man 5 Max supports dual NVMe M.2 slots. I am installing two 500 GB SSDs, and I have already flashed the Raspberry Pi OS desktop into the first one. These slots also support AI accelerators like Hilo 8L, so you can use a combination of SSD plus AI accelerator, perfect for setups that require both high-speed storage and AI processing power. All right, it's fully assembled. Now let's power it up and see it in action. The Pyron Man 5 Max truly unlocks the full potential of Raspberry Pi 5. It's packed with features like dual NVMe M.2 slots with RAID 0 and 1 support, AI accelerator compatibility, a PCIe Gen 2 switch, PWM tower cooling and dual RGB fans, and a smart OLED display with vibration wake up. Even with the case installed, we still have full access to GPIO pins. All ports are smartly positioned for cleaner cable management including dual full size HDMI and USB-C power. It's ideal for building high performance NAS setup, AI edge computing devices, home assistant hubs and much more. All of this is wrapped in a sleek black aluminum body with dual transparent side panels giving it both functionality and premium look. Now let's see how it performs. I have connected it to my monitor, played some YouTube videos, did some casual browsing and everything ran smoothly. If you are into overclocking, graphics heavy workloads or AI based tasks, this case keeps your Raspberry Pi cool and stable. Later I installed Raspbian OS Lite and set up a NAS using Open Media Wallet since OMV doesn't work with the desktop version. Here you can see the Open Media Wallet dashboard on my main PC displaying CPU usage, RAM, mounted SSDs and more. Now let's do a quick demo. 
I have already logged into the network location in my file manager. I created a shared folder named pynas. Now I will paste some file here. As you can see, the same files instantly appear on my laptop, which is also connected to the same Wi-Fi network. I have tested it with three different systems and the shared folders sync across all of them. You can also install various apps and plugins to turn it into a home media server for your TV or network. So if you want to unlock the full potential of your Raspberry Pi 5 or convert it into a mini server for your home or even a small business, definitely check out the Pyronman 5 Max. I have added the purchase link in the description below. Hope you liked today's video. That's it for today guys. See you in the next one.